in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus welcome to this thunder of god episode may the lord christ jesus speak to your hearts during this time of preaching the word of god in order to prepare to hear the word of god now let us praise and worship our lord jesus christ so please praise and worship together with me hallelujah 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 there is no one who is like the lord he is strong and mighty who is like the lord he is worthy stand up and give him your praise praise the lord praise the lord our god is worthy of glory praise the lord Praise the Lord, our God is worthy of glory, from the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory, stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory, stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. like the lord there is no one who is like the lord he is strong and mighty who is like the lord he is worthy stand up and give him your praise praise the lord praise the lord our god is worthy of glory praise the lord praise the lord our god is worthy of glory From the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. Stand up and praise Him and give Him your glory. Our God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. We glorify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Glorify your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. Praise you Lord. Thank you Lord. Glorify your name. Jesus. Praise you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Lord, I pray for all the viewers of this program. Lord, touch their lives with your holy spirit. Lord, speak to them. Lord, especially Lord, I ask you to give them the spirit of forgiveness so that they may become your sons and daughters lord teach us the great lesson of forgiveness we ask this through christ our lord amen, amen. my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus in one of my talks i have mentioned you how to become a child of god that is to believe on jesus and to accept jesus so that you will become the children of god today i would like to speak to you about the importance of forgiveness because our lord jesus christ in his gospel taught us that when you love your enemies and you when you pray for those who persecute you you will become the children of god so in our spiritual life when we grow we will encounter that we have got many enemies or many people may hate you so the lord is reminding us this you have to forgive them and you have to pray for them so that you will become the children of god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord in his gospel gospel of matthew chapter 5 
verses 43 to 45. Please take your Bible. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. So Jesus is uh, reminding us the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, Moses have said to the people that uh, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. Now, please continue. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your father in heaven. See, Jesus is giving a new commandment or Jesus is fulfilling the old law. Jesus, is, Jesus says, I say to you, the, the, even in the New Testament, the rabbis, the teachers never used this. They taught in other person's name. But Jesus said to them, I say to you, truly, truly, I say to you, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. What will happen? Then only you will become the children of God. And Jesus is giving us a simile. Please continue. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good. So that is the nature of our heavenly father. He makes his son rise on the good and the evil. Please continue. And sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. Yeah, that is the nature of God. And the Bible says, if you want to participate in the nature of God, you have to love your enemies and you have to pray for those who persecute you. Then you will participate in the character, in the nature of God. So you will become the sons and daughters of God. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. That's why St. Paul, in his letter to the Colossae, chapter 3, verses 12 and 13, St. Paul very powerfully teaches this. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. So, St. Paul says, you are God's beloved ones. You are God's chosen ones. You are the sons and daughters of God. So, you have to clothe five things. You have to clothe compassion, humility, kindness, uh, meekness, and patience. And again, St. Paul says a very beautiful thing. Please listen to verse 13. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. So, my dear sisters and brothers, when we forgive others, we become the sons and daughters of God. A few centuries ago, in Japan, in Nagasaki, there was a massive persecution. Hundreds of Christians became martyrs. And there was a brother called Paul Miki. And during his time, he was a native of Japan, but the persecutors crucified him. While he was on the cross, he said a forgiveness prayer. I am going to say that prayer now. Please listen to me. The sentence of judgment says, These men came to Japan from the Philippines, but I did not come from any other country. I am a true Japanese. The only reason for my being killed is that I have taught the doctrine of Christ. I certainly did teach the doctrine of Christ. I thank God it is for this reason I die. I believe that I am telling only the truth before I die. I know you believe me and I want to say to you all once again, ask Christ to help you to become happy. I obey Christ. After Christ's example, I forgive my persecutors. I do not hate them. I ask God to have pity on all. 
and I hope my blood will fall on my fellow men as a fruitful rain. As a fruitful rain. And he died on the cross together with his fellow brethren. My sisters and my dear sisters and brothers, and because of their martyrdom, the Christianity really grew in Japan. Hundreds of thousands of people became Christians because these people obeyed the teachings of Christ. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you and you will become the children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St. John Paul II once said this, I quote, Darkness can only be scattered by light. Hatred can only be conquered by love. That's why when Ali Agha shot at him, he forgave him. When he came out of the hospital, John Paul II went to him and John Paul II forgave him because he is a son of God. He not only loved his enemies, he prayed for him and also he forgave him. Again, Saint Paul said, John Paul II said like this, Forgiveness demonstrates the presence in the world of the love which is more powerful than sin. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That's why St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 19 and 20, St. Paul says, if you got an enemy, you should do one thing. Please listen. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry. Now, if your enemies are hungry. Feed them. Feed them. If they are thirsty. Yeah, if they are thirsty. Give them something to drink. Now, give them something to drink. For by doing this. Yeah, for by doing this. You will heap burning coal. Yeah, this is very, very. Burning coals means spiritually because it's a fruit of love. So there, from then there will not be any hatred, only love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why St. Augustine, one of the greatest theologians in the church, he said, it's very, very powerful, very important, it's really touched me, listen to me carefully, that your enemies have been created is God's doing. That they hate you and wish to ruin you is their own doing. So what should you say about them in your mind. He says, you should do four things. You have to pray like this. Lord, be merciful to them. Second one, forgive them their sins. The third thing, Lord, put the fear of God in them. And the fourth thing, St. Augustine says, ask the Lord to change them. And he continues, you are loving them, loving in them, not what they are, but what you would have them to become. All of us have enemies. Today the Lord Jesus is speaking to us through his saints. Not only you have to love them, you have to pray for them. Once Philip Neri told to his disciples like this. If you really struggle to forgive your enemies, look at the cross. Think about the pain Jesus bore on the cross. And remember that every time when you recite the Lord's Prayer, you are asking the Lord to forgive your enemies only if you forgive them. And St. Philippineri says, 
if you don't forgive your enemies, you are calling upon vengeance on yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I work in England for the British Catholics. Saint John Fisher is a very, very important saint. So when Henry VIII started, the persec started persecuting the church, many bishops and many priests, because of fear, left the Catholic Church and they embraced the Anglican Church. But there was a bishop, namely John Fisher, who could stand for the Catholic faith. And he knew that he will become a martyr. And John Fisher forgave the persecutors. And he did not boast that he will become a martyr. But he said a very powerful thing. I read it for you. He said, I condemn no other man's conscience. Their conscience may save them, and mine must save me. This was his attitude. So he forgave them. He loved them. He became a very powerful saint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Now let us pray. Please close your eyes. We need the grace from above. Only if the Holy Spirit touching our hearts, we will be able to forgive our enemies. We will be able to pray for our persecutors. Please ask the Holy Spirit right now to touch you. Our Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for an infilling of the Holy Spirit upon all those who are watching this. Lord, touch their hearts. Lord, touch their minds. Lord, we have hatred in our lives. Lord, I, we ask you to pour out the precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, into our hearts so that we may forgive them. Lord, give us that grace to pray for those who persecute us. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, lift everyone, especially those who persecute you, all your enemies to the, to the, to the Lord's hands. And let us thank the Lord. Thank and praise the Lord right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah, Jesus. Them. Thank they you, Jesus. do not know what they do. Everyone pray together. Father, forgive them. They do not know how much they hurt me. Oh, Heavenly Father. Father, forgive them. They do not know how sad I am today. I want to become your child, O oh Lord. Here I stand beneath your cross, O oh Jesus, and I pray. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Jesus said, Love your enemies and pray for all those who persecute you and you will become the children of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Lord, you have taught us during your Sermon on the Mount to love our enemies, to pray for those who persecute us. Lord, in our lives many times we have failed in loving our enemies. We have failed in praying for those who persecute us. Lord, we are sorry for that. And Lord, we ask you for your Holy Spirit, the Spirit who gives us the ability to forgive our enemies. Lord, we need your Holy Spirit. And also, Lord, we ask you to pour out your precious bread upon us and to cleanse our, our mind, cleanse us from all hatred feelings. My dear sisters and brothers, just open your hands before you. Let Jesus Christ come in. Let the forgiveness touch of Christ Jesus come into your life. Lord, Wash us with your precious blood. Your blood flowing down from your wounds shall flow into my hurting wounds, soothing the bruises still bleeding. I'm reaching out to you, my Lord, with tears that are welling. In my eye, I'm holding to your body that's wounded with tears that are welling in my eye. I'm holding to your body that's wounded. My reason rebels, my heart in Wells, give me the power to pray your prayer. I forgive, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive all those who hurt me, all those who broke me. In your name, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Forgive, Lord, Jesus. I forgive, Lord, I forgive. Jesus. Now we prepare ourselves to receive your blessing, O Lord Jesus. Bless us, Lord. Lord, we will try to love our enemies and we will try to pray for all those who persecute us. My dear sisters and brothers, let us bow down our heads and receive his blessings now by giving him glory and honor. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Glorify your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, oh, oh. 
sacrament more.